What if everything we know about the universe is wrong? What if the Big Bang isn't the beginning of the universe? And what if we're living inside a black hole? The term Big Bang refers to an event that took place approximately 13.8 billion years ago, and it's generally accepted that this event marked the beginning of our universe. In the end, the cosmos started to expand, galaxies were formed, stars were born, and planets were created. The Milky Way is the name of one of these galaxies, and it's believed to be the place where life first originated. However, before we begin our video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Do we live inside a black hole? According to our current understanding, the cosmos is expanding while also becoming more frigid. But what took place before that? Most scientists are of the opinion that there was nothing in the past, but it doesn't look like everyone agrees. What if everything that we observe in our universe is actually merely the product of our location inside a black hole that was produced by another universe? What if a supermassive black hole was responsible for the creation of our universe, and the phenomenon that we refer to as cosmic inflation explains how this occurred? According to this peculiar theory, if black holes that emerge in our world are responsible for the birth of other universes, then it's possible that our universe is nothing more than the child of a black hole. What if black holes are nothing more than enormous containers in which multiple worlds coexist? When we gain new knowledge about the cosmos, we typically come away with an increased number of unanswered questions. Despite this, it's possible that this is the beauty of the universe, the beauty of our cosmos. It's a treasure trove of information, experiences, and questions that may continue on for all eternity. Perhaps in the not-too-distant future, when technology advances and our knowledge expands, we'll have access to sufficient data to begin providing answers to some of these issues. Let's turn back time. The Big Bang happened before humans, Earth, the Sun, galaxies, and even light. 13.8 billion years ago, this happened. But what happened before? A lot of physicists say that there's nothing before that. People say that time started at the moment of the Big Bang, and it's not scientific to think about anything before that. We'll never know what the world was like before the Big Bang, what it was made of, or why it exploded to make our universe. We can't understand these kinds of ideas. However, there are a few scientists that follow a different methodology, and they disagree. You may call it the start of a brand new universe. It's speculated that the seed was so minute that it would be difficult, if not impossible, to visualize it. It's possible that it was a trillion times smaller than the smallest particle that humans have ever been able to observe. Despite this, it's a particle that has the potential to initiate the formation of every other particle, as well as every galaxy, solar system, planet, and individual. This seed seems to be a reasonable option to go with if you want to legitimately refer to anything as the God particle. So, how does a seed like this come to be? One idea that's been talked about for a long time, especially by Nikodem Poplowski of the University of New Haven, is that the seed of our universe was made in the ultimate furnace, which is probably the most extreme place in nature, inside. Instead, it's possible that we're a member of the multiverse, which is a vast collection of parallel universes, each of which has its own illuminating star seen in the real sky at night. Many people have different opinions regarding how or even if different universes are connected to one another. All of these theories are based on a great deal of conjecture, and none of them can currently be demonstrated to be correct. The idea that the seed of a universe is similar to the seed of a plant is one that makes a lot of sense. The seed of a plant is a small piece of important material that is densely packed and buried inside of a shell. Black holes are the last resting place for massive stars. When a star of this type runs out of fuel, the core collapses in on itself, creating a black hole. The temperature can reach 100 billion degrees. Atoms are split up, electrons are shattered into their component parts. These items have even more creasing on them. At this stage, the star has transformed into a black hole, which indicates that the force of its gravity is so intense that not even a beam of light can escape its grasp. The term event horizon refers to the location at which the interior and exterior of a black hole meet. Bottomless questions. If you apply Einstein's ideas to the problem of determining what takes place at the center of a black hole, you'll arrive with a region that is both infinitely dense and infinitely small. This concept, known as the singularity, is purely speculative. The natural world, however, doesn't typically contain entities that persist without end. When it comes to enormous forces, such as those that were present when our universe was born or those that are present within a black hole, Einstein's ideas tend to fall apart, even though they make excellent calculations for most of the universe. Dr. Poplowski and other physicists say that the matter inside a black hole does reach a point where it can't get any smaller. 
Dr. Poplowski suggests that the process of compacting comes to an end due to the rotation of black holes. They rotate extraordinarily rapidly, approaching or even surpassing the speed of light at times. Additionally, this rotation imparts a great deal of torque upon the densely packed seed. It's not just that it's small and heavy, but it also twists and squeezes, like one of those amusing snakes that comes in a can and has a spring inside of it. It can suddenly become dislodged from its position. That would be the Big Bang, or the Big Bounce, as Dr. Poplowski likes to refer to it. To put it another way, the existence of a black hole in one universe can indicate the existence of another one nearby. This is referred to by Dr. Poplowski as a one-way door. Dr. Poplowski also explains that this other world isn't contained within our own. The hole in the space-time continuum is merely the connection point, similar to the root that joins two aspen trees. And what about us, each in our own universe? It's possible that we originated in a separate and more ancient cosmos. You could call it the mother of the universe. There is a possibility that 13.8 billion years ago, the universe's origins can be traced back to the interior of a black hole. Since then, the expansion of our universe has been proceeding at a rapid pace. Yet, it is possible that we're still concealed beneath the event horizon of a black hole.